Well, good morning and uh, welcome to Time Out this morning. My name is Jack Vin. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join me. And I was wondering this morning, what would you say if I told you that your name is on a list to receive a great inheritance? How would that make you feel? So don't go away. If you're watching from a YouTube channel, will you please push subscribe to help me? And if you are on any platform and you share and you comment, you are helping me to make social media a more positive medium to reach people as opposed to all the negativity that's out there. And so time out and time out is all about being positive and sharing the positivity. So can I just say ahead of time, thank you for helping me with this. God bless you. Now, uh, people often say, maybe you've said this, when my ship comes in, I'm going to be doing this and that. And, you know, hopefully I'm somewhere written into somebody's will that will leave me something great so my life can be better. Well, the good news is if you're a Christian this morning watching this, you are, your name is on a list to receive a great inheritance from God. As a matter of fact, you know, uh, if I come to that uh, will, when somebody leaves a will or the last will and testimony of somebody, uh, it's normally in there, that last will and testimony are their wishes, how to distribute their inheritance. In other words, also how to give away their legacy to certain people. And uh, so I was wondering, what was the last will and testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, when he died? What was that last will and testimony? Well, Hebrews 9 verse 15 says an interesting thing. It says, uh, this is why Jesus is the one who mediates a new covenant between God and people. You know, a covenant is really just an agreement God has written into his will between him and us. And it says so that all who call upon, uh, 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 who are, uh, are called can receive et an, an eternal inheritance uh, from God with that he promised us. So God wants to give us an eternal inheritance. It's written in his will. And it says, for Christ died to set you free from the penalty of death and me. And so that uh, because of the sins that we have committed under the first covenant. So God died to set us free from the penalty of sin that we committed under the first covenant. And you may say, well, did God change that agreement? Yes, he did. The Bible says in Hebrews, I think it's eight somewhere, verse six. It says that we have a new covenant that Jesus wrote for us. Uh, it's based on better promises and better promises means more inheritance. So I want to say to you this morning, your name is on a list to receive an inheritance from God. But before I get to the inheritance, the greatest thing that Jesus could have done for you and I is to cancel the penalty of sin against us. We were dead in the water literally because of sin. It separated us from God. And Jesus came and he wrote an agreement in his last will and testimony when he died to say, Jack, you are forgiven. If you are listening this morning, you are forgiven if you accept that forgiveness of Jesus. And he wrote it in so that you don't receive the penalty of your sin and my sin. What a wonderful inheritance to start with. That is something I believe worth living for. That inheritance of eternal life. But more than that, God has left us with so many blessings in his word because he loves us. He wants us to inherit uh, that legacy that he left us because that legacy is not just for you. It's also for your family. It's also for your friends. It's for your life. It's for your future. It's for your career, your finances, your health. And you may ask Jack, well, how do I receive that? I don't feel uh, wealthy. I don't feel rich at the moment. Well, it's not something that you can feel with your emotions. It's not something I can feel with my, with my facts and my logic. I have to access that inheritance God's given me by faith. That great inheritance that's based on the better promises that Jesus did. He wrote it in his will. And so we need to read that will of Jesus, that last will and testimony by faith. And as we read that will and testing by our faith that God did for us to cancel the penalty of sin and to, to give us an, a great inheritance, we open a window into our hearts to receive that which God wants to give us. You open that window in your heart 
to receive what God wants to give you. So I want to encourage you today, just go and by faith access your inheritance that God's given you based on better promises, based on a covenant, based on the last will and testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as you do so, something's going to happen to make you feel that you are the most blessed person on the earth. My name is Jeff Vint. You've been watching Time Out. God bless you. I'm going to catch you next week.